Today I'm flying my seven foot tall Mystic Buzz, freshly rebuilt, new decals and everything on this four grain sugar motor that has 15% aluminum powder in it. Now the aluminum powder adds a lot of energy to the fuel, but it is very difficult to light. So what I've done is I've put a 3 8 inch, what I call flaming donut in the top of it. And that will initiate the fuel and help bring it up to pressure and get the, the rocket off the pad quickly. Pretty excited about this. I've done a number of tests with this, limited amount of flights. I'm going all in on this freshly rebuilt rocket. Wish me luck. Two, one, zero. Oh! oh. Painful to watch. <laughs> Looks like we have a burning grain here in the uh, field between the D cell and the high power pad. Watch that for a field fire. Is this supposed to be that? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was exciting. It wasn't the outcome that I had hoped for, and uh, it's unfortunate that I did lose the rocket and the case. You can see here, I think you can see it, it's a little deformed on both ends. So yeah, I, uh, I did it up really good. But uh, that's the nature of experimental rocketry. There's a lot of risk, and there's also can be a lot of gain. Why in the world would I risk putting 15% aluminum powder and sugar fuel? Well, it's all about the tail and the effects that it gives you is what I was after. What happens? The uh, aluminum takes a lot of temperature, a lot of pressure to burn properly, and you really have to ramp that pressure up. And by the time you get there, you're pretty close to the tolerances of the case. But uh, I think that it's worth trying because the effect is just amazing. The tail that you get, and one thing that the camera can't record is this roaring sound uh, that, that the motor makes with some of the aluminum, I think, burning in the atmosphere. Sure, that doesn't make for a very efficient motor, but it does give for a really nice effect, like perhaps a sparky motor would or a smoky or something like that. I might come back to it at some point and try again. I had one successful flight, four or five uh, successful ground tests with this motor or one similar to it. Uh, I think it's worth experimenting with, but for now I'm probably going to shelf it because uh, I don't have a lot of cases. And by the way, if anybody can make a case for me, has a lathe, can cut the grooves in it, that would be amazing. Please contact me. I can supply the materials if necessary and uh, we can work something out. That would be fantastic. And that would allow me to continue to uh, make motors like this. I just wanted to point out that uh, I've made sugar motors for three years now. I've had a lot of successful flights. In 38 millimeter, I use uh, flexi fuel. In 54 millimeter, I've used sorbitol with uh, some sucrose added to it. I've had a lot of successful flights with those. Uh, so once in a while, if I get burned and I lose one, well, that's a risk I'm willing to take. I'll see you in the next video.